and welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this very cool toned halo smoky eye you see right here. We're getting back into the holiday season feels and we're going to be using a lot of glitter today. I'm going to be actually trying something that I've never tried before but I am so excited to try. But yeah, before we get on with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and like this video if you like it. And if you want to see how I got this makeup look right here, this cool toned brown glittery halo eye, then please keep on watching. Well, hello guys and welcome. So for today's look, we're only going to be doing the eyes and we're going to be doing like our face but not foundation because as you can see, I already have that done. I have my foundation concealer and I am baking under my eyes so I don't have any fallout. And so we're going to be doing this eye on camera. So for today's look, we're actually going to be using our Modern Renaissance palette because I haven't used it in forever and this is like my favorite palette on this planet so I just needed to use it. So we're gonna go in with my Morphe M504 at first and the color Warm Taupe which is that one right there and I'm just gonna put that on my crease. And as you can tell I am building this up quite a lot because I am gonna be using only two crease colors and I don't want it to look unblended and splotchy. I want it to be very blended and seamless. So now I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Light It Up Blending Brush and we're just blending the edges. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Cypress Umber in my Anastasia palette and my Actilabs Blending Brush and I'm gonna begin creating my halo eye. So I'm just packing the brush. I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corner first. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the crease and then I'm gonna grab more color on the tip of the brush and I'm gonna put it right on my crease as you can tell I'm not blending anything yet I deposited most of the color in the center of my lid and now with the leftover color I'm bringing it into my inner crease so now with my Sigma E57 I'm gonna grab that same brown color and I'm gonna pack it on my inner corner and now I'm gonna go into my Sigma E38 and I'm gonna blend these edges. And now I'm going back into my Actilabs brush and I didn't put any additional color on it. I'm just using the color that's already on there and I'm gonna bring it into my upper crease. And now I'm gonna go into my Smashbox blending brush and we're blending the edges. And now it is my favorite part. So we're gonna go into the Stila Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metal Eyeshadow. This one right here, this is Smoldering Satin. This is the first time I use these and I am so excited to be using this. And the great thing about this and doing like cut creases and smoky eyes and as you can see my halo eye, you don't need to put concealer as a base because it, it is so blinding. Like look at it, it's like in the middle of this eye and it is so blinding. It is like glitter everywhere. It is beautiful and you don't need a glitter glue. So I'm gonna put it all the way up to the crease, just in the middle, not getting it too far out into the outer corner and not getting it too far into the inner corner. And now I'm gonna grab my Sigma E57 with some more of Cypress Umber and I'm gonna put it at the edges of where the glitter meets the matte to blend them together. And I'm gonna do that on my inner corner and on my outer corner. And I'm just gonna keep blending on with this brush and packing more color here and there until I feel like it's completely blended and it looks seamless. So now I am going to grab this shade from my Morphe 35F palette. It is the lightest shimmer shade and this Smashbox lip brush it is this tiny, tiny brush. And I'm gonna pack it with color and I'm gonna put it in my brow bone and on my inner corner. So now, since I'm gonna be adding false lashes cause this is a holiday look, I'm gonna be wearing my Actilabs mascara, which is really black and it's gonna get rid of the glitter on my lashes. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'll be back to put on my lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying my Icon Black Dahlia Lashes. As always, you can use code PAULA for 35% off on every purchase on Icon. So I'll be putting this on and I will be right back to do our lower lash line. Okay, so now my lashes are on and we're gonna move on to our lower lash line. I'm gonna first go into my Marc Jacobs Highliner in Rococo, which I can never open. Got it. 
So now I'm gonna move on to my Sigma E34 and I'm gonna grab the shade Warm Taupe right here. And I don't wanna go too heavy on the lower lash line cause that liner is already kind of deep. So I'm just gonna smudge it out with this brown. And now with that same brush, I'm gonna grab some of the highlight shade we use on our inner corner. And I'm gonna put it on the inner third of my lower lash line right here this is gonna bring light to my eye and now we're gonna go into some Urban Decay Perversion mascara and this is very voluminizing which is why I'm gonna be using this one on my lower lash line and then we're gonna be done with the lower lash line so now I'm gonna dust off this bake and all the fallout that happens from the eyes and we're gonna come back to do blush bronzer highlight and lips all right so for today's face we're gonna be using the Kevin D shade and light palette this is like my favorite contouring palette ever I love this so much and I'm gonna be mixing these two shades the two darker shades on the palette because I want to look snatched I'm gonna hide that double chin and for the forehead we want to be glowing so we're gonna be going in with my hourglass ambient light bronzer and luminous bronze light my favorite forehead bronzer okay so i know i said i was gonna put on blush but i kind of like it how it looks like this because i do want it to be very cool toned and if i put blush it'll just add a lot of color and i don't really want that so i'm just gonna move on to a highlighter and i'm gonna be using my becca highlighter in opal which i haven't used in forever because it's kind of falling apart but okay so since i do want my lips to be very nude and cool toned i'm first gonna go in with this amelia knight lip liner um I don't have the shade name. I will link everything down below, but I'm gonna put this all over my lips Okay, so now that it looks like I pretty much have the lips again We're gonna go in to the trust from beauty lip gloss and this is the shade method to the madness It's like a clear gloss. It doesn't have a lot of color Which is exactly what I want because I don't want the lips to be too overpowering again I want all the focus to be on that halo eye we just did well you guys that is it for this look Well, you guys, that is it for this holiday makeup tutorial. Very cool tones, but yet very glam and glittery. And it is also a halo eye, so it is something I haven't done in a while. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did. I will have a lot of holiday makeup tutorials coming out. I will do a gold one. I'm going to do like green and red, and I'm going to do winter. And there's just so much stuff coming for the holidays. I am so excited. So that you can just like pick and choose which tutorials you want to try. I want to do something for everyone. Well, you guys, so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave because I will be uploading a lot this holiday season as I said before. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.